everyone so today I am here to do another journaling video which I haven't done a journaling video in like probably over a year I want to say like I think I did one in like freshman year of high school freshman year of college <laughs> good one Kate you're not in high school anymore if you guys don't recognize where I am you guys wouldn't you've never really seen this area before this is my hometown apartment oh I hear a jingle hello Oh, yep, the kitties are here at my hometown. We're, this is my parents' apartment, obviously, not my apartment. Um, but no one's home because they left me. <laughs> but yes, that's also why I'm not wearing my glasses, because there is an insane glare. Because <laughs> I'm sitting right in front of some windows. <laughs> but yes, today, anyways, we are going to be talking about my current journals and my current supplies. Because, again, I don't think I've done one of these videos since my freshman year of college, and I'm going into my junior year. So... I have a huge array of new journals that I have been using and loving and new supplies that I have been really, really enjoying. Um, definitely since my last journaling video, like everything has changed. <laughs> For my sophomore year of college, I didn't actually really journal that much. I started a bullet journal and that was really all I was using. But since then, I have definitely gotten some more journals and I've been getting way more back into journaling. So today I'm going to just show you guys the, I think I have four journals that I've been currently like using very, very consistently and my supplies. So let's get into it. So like I said, in my sophomore year of college, I started a bullet journal. So this is my bullet journal. It is honestly just a normal journal that I have. It's from Target. It is the brand, let's see, FSC. I don't know. I've had a couple of their notebooks before and they're made of like 80% recycled material. So I obviously quite like that. Um, and yeah, this bullet journal is like 100% book related. Like I don't use this as like a personal bullet journal. I have an agenda for that, which I will get to. But yes, this is my bullet journal. And woo, I have this avocado and toast, which were my things on our doors for me and my roommate in sophomore year. Um, I was the avocado, she was the toast, but I got to keep both of them. Yeah, so this is just book related, like here's books I've hauled. And like, I think you guys have probably seen this a couple times, mostly in vlogs probably. But this is basically just reading and money. I have a money tracker, that's one of my tabs and a to watch list. So basically this is just like hobbies kind of bullet journal. So reading and like watching TV shows. That's where I track in here. And I have very, very basic spreads. They're basically just a like, let me go to like September so I can actually show stuff. September actually did a little bit differently. So here's September and then film and post I did like a habit tracker on the first page for that because it didn't fit my actual habit tracker and I was like it kind of makes sense because I always use this first page as a kind of YouTube upload kind of schedule but I never actually stuck to it or ever looked at it so I felt like a habit tracker might be better I don't know and then video ideas and stuff like that and then every single month I have favorite songs of the month and to be read and that is where I write down the books, the page number, and then my star ratings. I also do a page tracker. This is inspired by Books and Lala. I'm pretty sure she is the first in person to come up with that idea and I love it. It is like probably my most consistently used page in my bullet journal. Like I always go and do my pages of the day. Even if I forget to do my habit tracker and stuff, I always do my pages of the day. And then I have my habit tracker, which I, these are basically things I always want to be just working on. So I have read, schoolwork, write, journal, watch a show, socialize, cook, work, eat out, adulting, grocery shopping and cat stuff. So these are just things that I like to keep track of how often I am doing them. So like some things are negative that I don't want to be doing all the time. So like eating out all the time, I don't want to be doing that. So I like to see how often I do eat out. And then cooking is something I want to actually try to do more of. So I try to see how many times in that month I cooked. And that is basically it. Like that's all of my spreads each month. That is why I've only used this month and I've had this since January. And then at the beginning of the whole thing I have a new year's resolution area and then haul books and weight tracker and stuff because I've been trying to lose weight and then I do add little photos at the beginning of each of my 
spreads just of from that month um, I have I don't have it with me so I can't show you guys but I do have an HP sprocket printer which I got for my birthday last year and it is so so helpful for journaling I love it I use it all the time uh, it is basically just a little printer that you can hook up to your phone and you can print basically Polaroids like it's kind of like a Polaroid but you can print it just like you don't have to take like I don't know I personally hate Polaroids like I feel stressed out by them because if you don't get a good photo like that's such a waste of paper so basically you can take a ton of photos on your phone and then decide which ones you want to print out into Polaroids and they also are stickers which I mean that's so great that is awesome that is my bullet journal Actually, if you guys have any other spreads that you think I should add to my bullet journal, definitely tell me because I've done like quite a few different ones that I've like tried out and just like haven't really liked that much. Like I did a thought of the day for like two or three months there and it just like didn't work out. I'd always forget to fill it out and these are the spreads that I have consistently always used but I feel like it's like not that much so if you guys have any other spreads that you think I could add and like really like based on mine tell me all right keeping on with that same trend I have my agenda this is like not that exciting but it's an agenda I have it's a full spread agenda and then each day it has like weeks with the days and everything um, this one is really nice because it has so it has the week over here, but then it also has notes, which is actually what I use to have like a grocery list going and stuff like that. Um, or just like a checklist of like things to get done during the week, but it doesn't need to be on a specific day. Uh, so yeah, I use the main spread to keep track of important dates and like assignments and stuff. So like in yellow, everything is highlighted, that's for school. Then I also have bills, when bills are due. I have appointments, I have vet appointments, I have work, I have birthdays in this spread. And then you go to the week and I have just like little things that I need to like check mark kind of thing. And that is basically the way I use my agenda. I find that that's the way it has always worked for me. I've been doing this idea for years, like probably since like middle school. and. It just is what works for me. <laughs> and then we have the two new journals that I have recently started up. Um, and let's see, I'll start with the diary. So I think I've shown a couple of times and a lot of people ask for flip throughs of my freshman year of college diary. It was huge, it was thick, it was basically a scrapbook with writing, kind of like witty novels if you've ever seen her flip throughs. And I have gotten so many requests to do a flip through of that and I did try to film it and I realized it just impossible to do because I write so personally so it did it just didn't work it was more of a diary than a journal so I didn't feel comfortable doing a flip through I'll probably never do flip throughs of these I might do flip throughs of like other journals but definitely not on my diaries um but yeah sophomore year I didn't have a journal diary again I really just started using a bullet journal I do have a journal that's technically from that year but it started out as like writing and then it became a bullet journal so that's when I just started a regular bullet journal. I just wasn't really into journaling my sophomore year. I don't really know why. It just I go through kind of phases of when I like to journal and when I like to write and when I like to read. And last year in my sophomore year was definitely a reading year. I just read so much that year like it was ridiculous but I have decided to get back into it and start up a journal again I because again I've literally I have literally had a diary since I was like six or seven years old and I really like them and I really like looking back on them so I wanted to have one again so I have this one it says spread the love and it's got a little panda because if you guys didn't know my kitten's name is panda so we have panda things now <laughs> and yeah so the way I do journals I can obviously can't really do a flip through of this but the way I do journals is like this first page is actually like stuff that I had written in my bullet journal but I was like I'm gonna start a diary so I pulled it out but like I'm gonna like pull it back so like this side is all writing and this side is things that I collect and just paste in this is also very much based on witty novels and what she does um, so like lots of receipts and also just like little handed things like this was my little thing to make a radiology appointment to get x-rays and so I write on this side and I paste things in on this side so this side isn't always full 
but I like having the space to be able to. And again, I've only had one entry so far. I just started this, so it's not very full yet, but I'm really, really excited to get back into doing this. I just remember it being so therapeutic and like really, really fun my freshman year of college. So I wanna get back into doing that, especially because like this summer, I felt like I totally should have had a journal just to like be able to write down my feelings and stuff because I was having a very, very rough summer. Like summer's always really, really rough for me. Uh, so I feel like I should have had a diary during that, but I didn't, so I want to have one now. And then my next one is my most exciting one, I'd say, and that is my writing journal. I will be having a video coming out very soon um, for am writing, hashtag am writing. I know literally every booktuber ever is a writer. I have been a writer since I, actually probably before I was like really a reader. Like I've always read, but there was actually quite a long time there that I didn't really care about reading and I only would write. Um, and I am starting my fifth novel. So that's why I started up this journal. And yeah, I can't obviously show you guys that much because it's my brainstorms, but I'm writing. And yeah, so this is basically just like a scratch journal. Like I just like write down things. I do little like brainstorming activities and like exploring my characters and the world and all of that. And basically just like write down anything that has to do with my book. And I've actually used quite a bit of it already. This I literally started two days ago. So I had a lot of ideas to go through. And um, I actually got both of these journals at Michael's for $5 and I was so excited. They're really, really floppy and they have these like covers that are kind of like matte but also kind of like squishy. Like they're kind of, they're really, really nice. So far I have loved writing in them and yeah, I just, I really like them. They're really fun and I have been loving this writing journal. I haven't had a writing journal in a very, very long time. So I felt like I needed a journal for it. <laughs> so yeah, those are my current four journals. That's all I really have been using is bullet journal, agenda, diary, writing journal. And now I'm going to get into my supplies. So I think I had this same one, the same thing last time. And that is my little cat pouch. It's just got a bunch of cute little kitties and it says meow and it's just like this really nice little size. Honestly, I might need a bigger one, but I'm trying to keep to this. <laughs> yeah, so this is my pouch of writing supplies. I actually do have an entire journaling box, but that's like a lot more bulky, like if I was actually sitting down to journal, like not just on the go kind of journaling supplies. It's like a whole box and has lots of washi tape and stickers and like little things to paste in and stuff. So, but this is my on the go. I always have with me writing supplies. All right, so the first thing you have to have in a journaling, double-sided tape. Like this is a life saver. I just, I mean, this is anything. This is pasting into your diary, but this is also, oh fuck, I screwed up my bullet journal and you paste two pages together. Like tape, double-sided tape is just so important. The amount of times people have also borrowed by double-sided tape, ridiculous. And then of course you need whiteout. Like I mess up so often just because I am really, really not artistic <laughs> at all. I have like okay handwriting, but like the amount of times that you just screw up, white out. Just get some white out. I prefer the liquid white out because I don't really find that those like little like tapey kind of ones work very well for me. So I always have liquid white out. And then I have some post-it notes. These I honestly don't really use that often. I'm gonna probably swap these out just because, I don't know, they're not cute so I don't really use them. And this is actually more, these two things are actually more for my reading that I just like to have with me. These are little like post-it uh, flags. And again, I'm probably gonna switch these out because I don't like these that much and I don't like these that much and I just got some new ones. So probably gonna switch these out. But yeah, so I like having these with me because again, I usually have this on me and I usually have a book on me. So if I want to tab something, I have my tabs and my post-it notes. And also sometimes I do use them for like my agenda. If I don't like 100% know that something's like 100% definite, I'll use a post-it note. Like, I think I used one for my work schedule. Yeah, I wrote down my like current work schedule, but like it's bound to change. So I didn't want to write it in the agenda. I just wrote it on a sticky note and put it in. Anyways, and then I have just so many freaking pens. <laughs> Let me see if I have anything else. I have like some of the post-its cut up into flags and then some more flags. Got some 
paper clips because those are helpful sometimes. I got a single washi tape. This is the washi tape I always just bring around with me. It's just plain black. I always like to have at least one or two on me. I might add another one. And then, yeah, I just have lots and lots of pens. <laughs> I actually do use the majority of these two. I want to go through them a little bit and like get rid of a couple soon but the majority of these I actually do use because I'm very very much a color coordinated person if you couldn't tell that from my agenda spread uh, I am very very color coordinated so I actually do use basically all of these so you got just some plain black pens I use those a lot that's what I mostly write with is just black pens and I have a couple for different this sounds so bad I have a couple different like ones because I find that they write nicer on certain paper. <laughs> and then we've got highlighters. Uh, again, I really, really like color coordinating things. So I always use highlighters. Always, always use highlighters. I have a pencil, which I hardly ever use, but Scantron is a thing in college. So you gotta have a pencil. And then I have these two pens that are of the same brand and like of the same obviously like thing but I don't I, I didn't buy these <laughs> they just came to me and they are papermate flare M and they're just these little like marker kind of pens I would say like they're definitely not really pen like they're more marker but again I really like using all different colors so I use these a lot I actually use these a lot on my like wall calendar that I write stuff on and I use these two colors as my different jobs because I have two different jobs so, and then we have just some colored pens. So I think these are Bic. Yeah, I got just some Bic pens. I also have a green one, but I don't know where it went. I like totally lost it. And then we have my favorites, Sharpie pens. Um, I also just have a regular red Sharpie, but like I almost never use that. Again, I use it kind of on my wall calendar, not really in my journals. But then, yeah, we have some Sharpie pens. This one isn't actually Sharpie brand, but it's still the same kind of thing as Sharpie pens. And these are just my favorite things to write with. They make such nice strokes. Yes, they bleed through the paper quite often, but I also just like don't really mind that much. I really just love how they look. So yes, this is the fine tip Sharpie. I think this one is technically like literally a Sharpie pen, yeah. It's a little bit different. And yeah, I just, I love these so much. And I use them all the time. And again, all different colors, because colors. All right, anyways, that is all for my current journals and supplies. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video and definitely leave down in the comments below what are some of the journals that you have? What are your favorite supplies? Are you a person who has like tons of journals or do you keep all of this kind of stuff in one journal? Because I do know there are some people who do that, just have one giant journal for everything. Also, do you guys color coordinate? Because I feel like everyone does nowadays, but not in real life. Like, no one I know in real life understands my love of coloring. But yeah, anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and I love you all, and I'll see you all soon. Bye!